one day when the bananas in pajamas came down to the beach. Good morning, um, Ooh. Morgan. Good morning, bananas. Ooh. You look a bit different today, Morgan. Uh, Morgan, you're wearing glasses. That's right. Ooh. Special reading glasses to help me with my reading. Ooh. Ooh. See? So the third little pig met a man with bricks. And he said, can I buy your bricks? Ooh. Morgan can read very well, B1. And his new glasses look very nice, B2. Ooh. I can build a house with bricks. Sure, it'd take a long time and uh, a lot of effort. Ooh. But we can't read very well, B1. <laughs> but if we had glasses, B2... Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's glasses time! The bananas went straight round to Rat in a Hat's shop to get themselves some new glasses. Mm. Oh, oh, bananas, you're very lucky. These were the last two pairs of glasses left. Uh, 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 Rat, uh, these glasses, uh, they make everything look funny. Uh, I can see two bananas and, and they're both B2. Oh, never mind about that, B1. You look very nice in your new glasses. Ooh, uh, thank you, Rat. Mm. Uh, uh, thank you, Rat. The bananas couldn't see very well through their new glasses. Bye-bye, bananas. Oh, uh, bye, rat. Bye-bye, uh, other rat. Ooh. Other rat? Uh, <laughs> oh, me twos. Watch out for those two lampposts. Oh, uh, there are two lampposts, B1s. Uh, oh, I know. I'll just walk between them. Good idea, B2s. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, oh. Are you all right, B2s? Uh, no, I'm done, B1s. But it's a funny thing. I can only feel one lamppost, but... Oh, I can see two of them. I can see two lampposts, two B2s. Uh, maybe these glasses are making us see double B1s. Oh, that must be right, B2s. Uh, I think these aren't very good glasses for walking in the street, B1s. Ooh, neither do I, B2s. After all, they're supposed to be special reading glasses, aren't they? Let's go home, B1s. Good idea, B2s. But the bananas found that reading with their new glasses wasn't very easy either. Oh, that's strange, B1s. I've got a book about three little pigs. But with these glasses on, I can see six little pigs. Ooh! <laughs> my book's about Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf B2s. But with my glasses on, I can see two Little Red Riding Hoods and two Big Bad Wolves. Oh, <laughs> this is no good, B1s. Oh, these new glasses aren't making reading any easier, B2s. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that'll be the doors. Oh, let's go and answer them, B1s. Oh, all right, B2s. Oh. Hello, Hello, bananas! bananas. Oh. 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 Hey, look at the bananas' new glasses. They look great, bananas! Oh. Oh. Thank you, Lulus, but they make us see double. We can see two Morgans and oh. two Lulus. Oh. Oh. Let's sit down, B1s. Oh. Good idea, oh. B2s. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Lulu's. It's all because you bananas don't need glasses. Ah. Or maybe it's because mm. those aren't the right sort oh. of glasses. Oh. 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 But oh. what would be the right sort of glasses for us? Hey, who oh. wants to come to the park with me? <gasps> what oh. great sunglasses, Amy. Oh, do you like them? I just got them right in the hat shop. Really? Mm -hmm. He's got a new box that's full of them. Ooh. Let's go! Of course, the best sort of glasses for bananas to wear are sunglasses. Let's put the umbrella on there, Hello. Hello. Getting toys ready for a song. <laughs> a song you might know. This song has pockets in it. A pocket full of posies. 
you guess what song it is? Yes, Ring a Ring of Roses. Come on, you sing too. Ring a Ring of Roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. A tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. Jump, oh. jump. <laughs> Come on, let's a tissue again. Yeah. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies. A tissue, a tissue, we, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow eating buttercups. A tissue, a tissue, we all jump up. <laughs> uh, <sighs> jumping jackets with jumping pockets. Jumping jackets with polka dot pockets. Hmm. Mm, pockets are handy. You can keep a lot of things in pockets. Mm -hmm. mm, like hankies, little toys, favourite things. Ooh. Mm. Let's see what the toys have got in their pockets. Find out. Right. Whoa. Okay, Jemima. What have you got in your polka dot pocket? Ooh. Green shiny ribbon. Hmm. Shiny ribbon treasure. Scrap next. What might a dog have in a pocket? Ooh. Dog treasure. A bone. Woof, 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 woof. And what does Morris have? Let's have a look. Oh, Morris has a shiny spangly coin. Shiny spangly coin treasure. Little Ted next. Ooh. A brightly painted egg. Hmm. Eggy treasure for little Ted. We've got some more treasure here in a treasure box. Now we're going to play a matching game. Let's see what's in the treasure box. Ooh. A shiny green ribbon. Who had ribbon treasure? Hmm. Was it Morris? Uh. Was it Scrap the dog? Was it Jemima? Yes, <laughs> it was Jemima. Jemima had the shiny green ribbon. And now Jemima has two shiny green ribbon treasures. <clears throat> More treasure. Ah, a bone. Who had bone treasure? Huh. Was it Little Ted? No. Was it Morris? No. Was it Scrap? Yes, Scrap, of course. Bones are for dogs, dog treasure. And there you go, Scrap. Another bone to match the bone you already have in your pocket. And who had sparkly coin treasure? Was it Little Ted? Was it Morris? Yes, Morris had the sparkly coin and now Morris has two sparkly coin treasures. An egg. And Little Ted's treasure was a special painted egg. Two special painted eggs for little Ted. There you go, little Ted. A pocket full of eggs. Now, let's see what I've got in my pocket. Mmm. Oh, lip gloss and some money. <laughs> what have you got in your pocket, Reese? Let's have a look. I've got a hanky. Oh. are very useful things. I'll say. <laughs> pockets, pockets, pockets are very useful things. If we didn't have pockets, what would we use to put a lot of things in? Where do you put your treasures? In your pocket? Like the toys? Or in a treasure box? going to make a treasure box. A treasure box for Diddle to put some cat treasures in. 
Would you like that diddle? Well, this uh, cylinder would make a good treasure box. Now to make it catty looking. <laughs> now, cut this uh, round shape. Snip, 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 snip. Boxes, boxes, boxes are very useful things. If we didn't have boxes, what would we use to put a lot of things in? Snip, snip, snip. There. Now, to stick it on to the cylinder. Blue tack on the back. And stick the head on to the cylinder. There. Need some cat's ears. Hmm. Sticky tape. And stick one ear down. And a little bit more sticky tape on the back there. And another ear there. Sticky tape. And another piece of sticky tape. There. Cat needs a face. Here we go. Two cat's eyes. One. And two. Cat's nose. And cat's mouth. There. <laughs> Hmm. Cats have whiskers, don't they? Pipe cleaner whiskers. Get some sticky tape. A little bit on the back. And let's tape these whiskers down. There. Ooh. Meow, meow, meow. Hmm. Cat's face for Diddle's treasure box. Now, for some legs with cat paws on them. Could use socks. Sticky tape to stick them down. One. Here we go. One sock. And two sock. <laughs> two socks. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, Cat's paws. Meow, meow, meow. Hmm. What else does a cat have? Yes, a cat's tail. Furry material. Perfect for a tail. <laughs> Sticky tape. And stick it down right here. And there we go. Finished cat treasure box. What do you think, Diddle? Meow, meow, meow. I think she likes it. <laughs> well, now we need some cat treasures for Diddle's cat treasure box. Let's have a look over here. Hmm. An umbrella. Oh, no. <laughs> Cats don't use an umbrella, do they? Hmm. Ah, a ball of wool. They like to play with that, don't they? And, ah, a toy mouse. Oh, squeak, squeak. And a pretty cat collar with a tinkling bell. Hmm. Oh, this grey cat looks a bit sleepy. Oh, and this mouse looks a bit creepy. <laughs> the old grey cat is sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. The old grey cat is sleeping in the house. The little mouse is creeping, creeping, creeping. The little mouse is creeping in the house. The old grey cat is sneaking, 
sneaking, sneaking. The old gray cat is sneaking in the house. <gasps> squeak, 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 squeak. The little mouse is scampering, scampering, scampering. The little mouse is scampering through the house. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, squeak. <laughs> Finished scampering mouse. Let's put all the treasures into Diddle's cat treasure box. A uh, ball of wool. There you go. Cat collar. Tinkle, tinkle. And scampering mouse, quick, into the box. There. <laughs> you can have a rest now, grey cat, after all that creeping and sneaking. You can have a sleep next to Diddle. Meow. We're going to see some more animals sleeping now. Let's have a look. It's bedtime. Dad snoozes on the couch. Joey curls up in a pouch. Tiny birds in a cosy nest. Baby snuggles at her mother's breast. Bats asleep, upside down. Lights go off, all over town. A warm, cosy bed for a teddy bear. Purring cats sleep anywhere. In the cupboard, curled up tight. Or on the windowsill. Say goodnight. Eyes closed tight, she cannot see. Snuggled on someone's soft, warm knee. Everyone needs somewhere to rest their head. A comfortable place to call a bed. Except this horse. He doesn't need a bed at all. He's fast asleep, standing tall. We don't sleep standing up, do we? We sleep lying down, just like Jim in the calendar bed. And under the bed is... Oh, something furry. The furry name of today. And the name of today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday today in play school. Wednesday is the day we look at animals in play school. Look at these animals. They're very interesting. They look a bit like fish, but they're not. They're called axolotls. There's quite a lot of axolotls here. There's some gold ones and some black ones. Now these axolotls, behind their heads, have gills. They look like feathery fingers. The gills help them breathe. And they also have some axolotl legs. See, their front ones? The front legs have four tiny axolotl fingers. They also have back legs. Now the back legs have five little axolotl fingers. See? You can also see their speckly skin. They don't have scales, but their skin are like frogs. Also look at their long tails. They help them swim. They swish, swish about. Axolotls also live in the water most of the time, but they can walk on land too, but only for a little while. You can see they have a wide, flat head with little black eyes on the side of them and also a very wide mouth. This one's a gold one. It's having a bit of a rest on the pebbles in the fish tank. I once had a pet named Aristotle, a very forgetful axolotl. He loved to swim and have worms for tea, but was always losing his front door key. Aristotle, axolotl, Aristotle, axolotl, lived in a fish tank, not a bottle. Aristotle, axolotl. <laughs> An axolotl. Maybe Aristotle axolotl. Can you make an axolotl too? Swish, 
Swish. I once had a pet named Aristotle, a very forgetful axolotl. He loved to swim and have worms for tea, but was always losing his front door key. Aristotle, axolotl, Aristotle, axolotl, lived in a fish tank, not a bottle. Aristotle, axolotl, swish, swish. <laughs> axolotls swimming in water. Going to see some more swimming now through the windows. I wonder which window it will be today. Well, it's not the round window or the arched window. Maybe the square. No, it's the diamond window today. A very big indoor swimming pool. Here comes Michael and his family, ready to go swimming. <laughs> A splashy waterfall to run under. Here I come. Splash. Michael's brother, Andrew, is helping him get into the water. Ready? Steady? Splash! In he jumps. A big frog spurting water onto the people below. They're under a waterfall too. Floating and balancing on a big mat. Magic carpet. Oi there! <laughs> Lots of fun in the water at a swimming pool. Under the water. There's Michael. He's swimming with flippers. Flippers are good for swimming. On with the goggles and jump. Do you like swimming at the pool? Or maybe splishing and splashing in the bath? Come on, come and have a splash in the bath with me. Splish splash, I was taking a bath on about a Saturday night. Rubber dub, just relaxing in the tub, thinking everything was all right. Well, I got out of the tub, put my feet on the floor, I wrapped a towel around me, and I opened the door. And then a splish splash, I got back in the bath. Well, how was I to know there was a party going on? There was a splishing and a splashing, reeling with the feeling, moving and a grooving, rocking and a rolling. and a splashing one time moving and a grooving yeah rocking and a reeling splishing and a splashing keep splishing splish splash splish splash splish oh well that's enough splishing and splashing because now it's time for the story and karen's going to help me tell it but first let's have a look at the clock What's the time on the hickory dickory clock? The long hand is pointing straight up to the 12, so it's something o'clock. The short hand is pointing to the 5, so it's 5 o'clock on the hickory dickory clock. Get ready to run, mouse. Here comes a cat, and they're off. Under the clock? A pile of all sorts of things out in the street. There's an old chair, lots of boxes, an old alarm clock, and an umbrella. The story today is called Clean Up Day, and it goes like this. 
Wednesday was clean-up day on Box Street. And Mr Morris, who lived in the corner house, had an old vase that he didn't need anymore. So he left it out on the footpath to be collected. And Ms Jemima, who lived in the red house, had two umbrellas and she decided she only needed one. So she left one umbrella on the footpath to be collected. Mr Big Ted, who lived in the house with the blue roof, <coughs> had an old stool that he didn't want anymore because he'd bought a new armchair. So he left it out on the footpath to be collected. And Mr Little Ted, who lived in the square house, had a picture of a zebra to he decided he'd put out for clean-up day because he didn't need it now that he had a new giraffe picture, so he put the picture out on the footpath to be collected. So all the toys waited out in the street for the truck to arrive. <laughs> Good day. Oh, Good day. Then the friends had a look at what had been thrown out. Ooh. Mm. 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 Ooh. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jemima, mm. said Mr Morris. Um, that's a, a very beautiful umbrella. It would go perfectly with my new raincoat. Do you think I could have it? Oh, you are most welcome to oh. it, Mr Morris. Ooh. And uh, the vase you put out is exquisite. It's just the thing I need for my flowers. Oh, so, <sighs> Mr Morris... Oh, thank you. ...took the umbrella back to his house. <laughs> and Miss <laughs> Jemima <laughs> took the vase back to her house. Then... Mr. Big Ted said, <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Little Ted. I am very fond of zebras. Do you think I could have your zebra picture? Oh, certainly, Mr. Big Ted. And uh, do you think I could have your lovely stool? It's just right for me. Oh, so, Mr. Big Ted uh, grabbed the zebra you... picture and took it home with him. <laughs> and Mr. Little Ted took the stool to his house. <laughs> but just then, the pickup truck truck arrived. Oh, now where are all the unwanted things to pick up? The driver asked. Well, sorry, driver. We decided everything was too special for you to take away. Hooray! Hooray for Hooray! Treasure Day! Everybody Hooray! yelled, Hooray! Hooray! And they decided to have a clean-up day every year <laughs> and that's the end of the story well the friends in the story were pretty happy after their clean-up day it was a good day all around good day good day <laughs> say good day to the axolotls. Yeah, come on. wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> axolotls eat meat. Things like little fish and worms. Now this is special axolotl food. Frozen blood worms. So we'll just squeeze a little bit in over near the axolotls. Oh, one's coming up. There we go. Oh, there we go. Little worms. Oh, he's watching the worms. Hmm. Not too hungry today. No, he's not very hungry. Maybe he eat them later. Maybe he's forgotten to eat. I wonder if he's a forgetful axolotl, like Aristotle. Mm. I, I once, once had, had a pet, pet named, named Aristotle, a very forgetful axolotl. He loved to swim and eat worms for tea, was always losing his front door key. Aristotle, 
axolotl, Aristotle, axolotl, lived in a fish tank, not a bottle, Aristotle, axolotl. Oh, well, it's time to say goodbye to the axolotls now. Because it's time for us to go. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you.